Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today we're going to be using the history panel again to talk about using snapshots to your advantage. And what snapshots are, are an image of the document that exists at the time that you take it. So it pretty much holds all like your information and stuff and you can revert back to that snapshot and you like go back in case you like mess something up or something like that or you didn't like the look of your new changes so you just go back to the snapshot that you took and you can start back over again so let's open up the history panel which is up here at the top with this uh, these I, I, honestly I don't really know what this uh, um, icon is it's just like some boxes and an arrow going up maybe it's just something like a list looking thing who knows it's not the best thing for history maybe like a clock or something um, but right now <clears throat> it's just this picture right here and if I take a snapshot I can do that by coming down to this um, camera looking icon and click on it and it will create a new snapshot for me and you can see it's named snapshot one and you can rename it by clicking on it and then I'll just type a uh, corn dog or something like that so I know that's the first one. Now let's go ahead and I'll I'll just make some changes. And I'm just gonna draw on this for fun. Um, I'm gonna have to rasterize it so I can draw on it. And then get myself a, some, it looks like I only got coffee stain brushes right now, but I'll draw some things. And just goof around. All right, so I got that and I want to add some other stuff just so we know just to like emphasize my point I guess so here here's what we got now I'll take another snapshot of this and I'll just name it corn dog 2 alright and that's what we got so I'm looking at this and my client hates this and he wants me to redo it from scratch so what I'm gonna do is all I need to do is instead of going back all these times and figuring out where I left off all I gotta do is click on my old snapshot and I can start working on it from there again easy enough now as you can see even like rasterizing and stuff it's back to um, like a smart layer so I'm going to have to rasterize the layer again and then I can start drawing on this again. So that's uh, pretty much how snapshots work. Now I can go back to my old snapshot that I, or my other snapshot that I took. If, if like your uh, uh, client or your boss decides that he liked what you've done and this has happened to me several times where I do something and he's like eh, let me try something else because they want to see what their options are. So you take a snapshot of it and save it and then you do what he wants you to do take another snapshot of that so here's my other one that I made and then you can just go back to what you have done without having to do a whole bunch of work now you can create a snapshot from the menu options also and then when you do it that way you get a an option box that comes up so let's come up here to the options go to new snapshot and then we've got this option panel. You can rename your snapshot easily. So, um, fun. I'll just, just name it as something random. And then you've got this right here in this from where it says full document, merge layers, or current layers. So, full document means it saves you, it saves the entire visible image and all the layers. Merged is it only saves the merged layers, and current layer only saves the active layer. So that would only save that layer right there. So when you're taking your snapshot, you can refine it a little bit to um, different different methods and things that you want to use. So remember that the snapshot is good for mo moving back and forth between different versions of your um, of your document quickly, and to be a fast, efficient artist you'll need to learn how to do this and I use snapshots a lot and I think they're great so thanks a lot for uh, watching this one be sure to use snapshots in your 
um, workflow. Have a good one, everybody, and thumbs up if you liked the video. See you guys later.